Welcome back to Always Secured Automation. Today we're diving into an essential topic, how to check RTD readings and make sure they're not giving you false data. Whether you're troubleshooting in a power plant or commissioning a new sensor, this is something every instrumentation engineer must know. RTDs, or resistance temperature detectors, are precision temperature sensors that change resistance with temperature. The most common type is the PT100, which has 100 ohms at 0 degrees Celsius. Simple concept, right? But even a tiny issue can throw off your readings. So how do you know if the RTD is lying to you? Here are a few red flags, sudden jumps or spikes in temperature readings, constant max or min values like minus 200 degrees Celsius or 850 degrees Celsius, no change in reading, even when process conditions clearly change, and mismatch with nearby RTDs or expected process behavior. Start with the basics. Inspect the RTD and its wiring. Look for damaged cables, loose terminals, corrosion at junction boxes, or moisture ingress. Disconnect the RTD from the transmitter. Using a multimeter, check the resistance across the RTD terminals. For a PT100 at 0 degrees Celsius, it should be 100 ohms, and at 100 degrees Celsius, it should be around 138.5 ohms. If the resistance is way off or infinite or open circuit, that's your culprit. If you're using a two-wire RTD, remember, lead resistance affects accuracy. That's why three-wire or four-wire RTDs are preferred. They help compensate for this. Use an RTD simulator or calibrator. Inject the known resistance and verify the transmitter output, usually 4 to 20 milliamps. If the transmitter doesn't respond correctly, the issue might be with the transmitter, not the RTD. Always use shielded cables and proper grounding. Avoid routing RTD cables near high voltage or VFD lines. Label and document all terminations. Use three-wire or four-wire configurations for better accuracy. Regularly calibrate using standard references or simulators. During commissioning or shutdowns, always perform a loop check. This verifies the entire RTD loop, from sensor to transmitter to DCS. A healthy loop means a happy process. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow engineers. Don't forget to subscribe for more smart automation tips right here on Always Secured Automation. Until next time, stay accurate, stay secured.